He's back. Here come that boy. Shit, what up? Here come that boy. Shit, what up? That boy has returned for another season of training. At the start of last season, he was a one overall, but we trained him up all throughout the year, every single week, gave him five drills, and we got him to a 57. And we'll have a quick run through right now of all of his stats and everything like that, of course, taking a look at specifically what's super high rated, what's not so highly rated. And of course, we're going to ask the question, just how high up will that boy go after a second season of training? And I bet you thought last season was pretty fucking bad that boy having to do five drills every single week well get ready for round two bitch oh this is pretty cool i didn't notice this before but he's actually wearing jordan boots i suppose that does make sense though considering that you know he is the fucking goat now before we start season two with that boy i have a few things to address we are going to see just how long it's going to take to get a one overall rated player in that boy all the way up to a 99 at first it was just how much can he grow in one season? But now we're going the whole way. And if I'm going to do that, if I'm doing this long term, then I may as well make a proper career mode out of it. We are going to try to actually get Portsmouth as high up as possible as well. We can't have the greatest player of all time just fucking around in League 2 for the whole thing. No, we actually have to get all the way up to the Premier League. And speaking of which, when we left it in the last episode, I left you guys hanging on a cliffhanger. Did we end up winning that penalty shootout in, of course, the promotion final? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to find out. If he scores this, I might, I might be out. Bang, right, left. He's missed as well! Oh, what a relief. Come on, top left-hand corner. Bury it, son. Oh, that's a shocking pen, but thankfully it's in. And if he misses this, then guess what? We're through. I'm going left. Left, left, left. It's over! We're through and we're into League One. That boy is going up. That's right, we did it. We got all the way up to League One. So suck on that, Crawley Town. Suck on Dat Boy's big, fat, hairy nutsack. You know, that actually raises a pretty interesting question. If Dat Boy has natural green hair... Would he have green pube? Uh, no, let's not talk about it. So let's begin then. An entire second season with that boy. I'm still going to keep giving him the exact same drills that I was doing last season. Although I have to be aware that there are some stats that are very, very high and might even potentially be knocking on the door of 99. I might max out some stats in this, uh, in this season. Have a look at things like his shot power, his long shots, his short passing. They're all in like the mid 80s and they were a one rating at the start of the first season. Who's to say that they're not going to end up being 90 or maybe even high 90s or maybe even just straight up 99 by the end of this season. Who knows, man, but still. First set of drills, let's get it underway. And some okay results there, but once again, not any stats going up just yet. Holy shit, we just got a message from the god himself. My role at the club. I was expecting a bigger role at the club as was offered to me when I signed for you. So far, I have not been given the chance to perform that role. So obviously we clearly have some fucking issues here because I have him in the starting 11. He's supposed to play every single game. I'm telling you what, right now, if my assistant manager is fucking around here, we'd better fucking hope this doesn't continue and he actually starts getting games because if he doesn't, then we're going to have a serious fucking problem in our hands. That boy is going to want to up and go. Listen here, that boy. I want to take care of you, all right? I'm going to make sure that you get a bigger role. We're going to have you rolling in no time, okay? We're going to have you rolling down the street. We're going to have you rolling into the beat. More training then. The next week, let's keep it going. I'm not going to do this every single time we need to train him, but whilst, you know, we're just giving him drills and while we're still in like the first month or so, let's show you all the couple of drills. We've got a few stats going up. Not really his overall though. By this point last season, he'd probably already grown by like seven or eight overall. So... Oh, maybe a bit concerning that he hasn't gone up by anything yet. How about on the third attempt? Let's see. Do we get any growth? Anything with the overall? Yes, we do, but it's barely anything. Mate, it's going to be a fucking grind this season, that's for sure. I'm also, by the way, just in the background, going to be taking care of potential players that we're going to be bringing in. Like I said, I want to make sure this is a proper career mode and that we go as far as we can with Portsmouth and hopefully maybe we'll get up to the championship by the end of this season. All right, I'm just about to load up the next set of drills. We just had the first game of the season, which obviously Dat Boy played in, and... um. He went up by three overall after one game. He's not growing at fucking all in his overall whilst I'm doing training, but he played one game and went up by three overall. Legit, he played one game and went up by three overall. If he does that every time he plays, then fuck, we're going to get to 99 in no time. Bloody hell, try saying that as fast as you can repetitively. 99 in no time. Oh, we just got a message from Dat Boy, by the way. Hello, can I simply say thanks for giving me more opportunity in the first team? I was getting depre depressed, but I'm happier now. Okay, that's good to know. See, we're, we're fucking and saving a man from depression by giving him games. Okay, let's keep this up. We're nearly two months in, by the way. We are approaching the end of 
of August. And apart from that one chunk where he went up by three overall, he's barely fucking growing in the goddamn training. But he has a little bit in that one. So I'm going to go through and try to sign a few players that we have in the shortlist. We definitely do have a lot of very good players in here, including, by the way, this guy whose first name is Marvelous. No, I mean, literally, his, his first name is Marvelous. We have to get that guy. He just has to be in Portsmouth. Just giving you guys a little bit of a heads up, by the way. We just did a bit more training and we're finally actually going up in overall within training after like two months we actually uh get up in rating and i don't know how it's taken that long but we're now in september okay we've done pretty much two months worth of training and let me do a quick squad report he has four stats that are in the 90s his ball control his short passing his shot power and his long shots his finishing is obviously quite deadly there as well dribbling crossing but Man, I mean, it's re the, the growth has just completely almost altered in comparison. For a while there, I was even thinking, is he still a promising player? Is he still one of the players that grows really quickly compared to others in training? And yes, he is, but he's just not really getting up in his stats. But now I reckon I'm just going to continue to do week by week training. I won't actually show you the entire process, but every single month, I'll show you a squad report. See how that boy is getting on. All right, moving on ahead now. We've just completed the entire month of September, still giving him every single drill every single week. And he's only gone up by two in his overall. But take a look at this. That boy has reached his first 99 rated stat in just under a year and a half when he was just one rated in everything. His long shots are now at 99. But what a fucking hero we have on our hands here. He was the absolute worst at something in the world. And then he turned himself in the space of just over a year and a bit, a fucking superstar and the best long shot taker in the world. More training, more drills, another month done. And we now have that boy up to a 66. He's gone up by nine. He's nearly about to clear 10 growth for the season. But I'm telling you what, man, we'd already cleared 15 by the end of the first month last time out. I gotta stop. I gotta stop comparing his training and his growth to when he's fucking 60 rated compared to when he was literally one. And again, the majority of this is not because of training. It's it's definitely a little bit down to training, but not all because of it. All right, and we are nearly done with December as well. We're nearly done with the first half of the season. And after that, we'll do one more training session. I'll show you what he's currently at, which to be fair, it's pretty much the exact same. You know how this is going so far. So taking a look at that boy, the squad report for January and ladies and gentlemen, He's done it. No, he's not 99 rated. He's even better. He's 69 rated. And again, I'm not going to talk too much about the signings I'm making in January, but I've got to update you on this guy. The man with the most marvelous first name I've ever seen, Nakamba, is joining Portsmouth next season. Anyway, now skipping ahead a little bit, I've already made all the signings I wanted to make in January. I didn't bring anyone in. They were pretty much all pre-contract players, so we'll see them hopefully next season. For now, though, we're doing one final squad report before the end of the season. And I only just realized as well, I haven't really been updating you on how the actual league is going for us, if we're actually going to get promoted, if we're staying, if we're getting relegated. Well, um, I might leave that to the end of the video because uh, it might surprise you. But yeah, you'll have to look forward to that. Either way, that boy is now at a 70 rating. He was 57 at the start of this season. Even though he's not growing by as much as he did in the first season, it's only 13 at this point. It's still decent. And he's only a few overall away from being the top dog at Portsmouth. He's also just got another 99 rated stat. His ball control is up to a 99. His finishing is one off, as is his dribbling, only like three off. He's going to get there. Meanwhile, taking a look at some of his other stats, like, for example, his acceleration and his sprint speed, still about as slow as a turtle. But you know what? I've been at this for a while now. I think I'm going to skip ahead to the final game of the season. I'm still going to keep on training. And don't worry, you're still going to get to see. Whew, we have finally made it to the end of a whole other season of training for Dat Boy. Let's have a look and see as we begin to scroll down what Dat Boy has finished at. That five foot tall, green haired, fat fuck is 73 overall. He's worth $7 million now, 19 years of age. He's got, I think, six or maybe even seven stats in the 99s. He's also starting to knock on the door of about 20 on pace here as well. So like, fuck me, this dude is rapid. There are clearly still some stats that he needs to work on. Despite having 99 finishing, his penalties are at 16. He has 99 finishing, but his volleys are 59. The jumping needs to be better. The interceptions need to be better. Maybe fair enough on the aggression though. Because fuck me, if I was an adult male and I was five foot tall, I would be the least aggressive person on the planet. But regardless, he finishes at a 73 overall. He's gone up by 16 in this season, which is not the 57 of last season, but still good enough and still gets him closer to a 99 overall. It also makes him the highest rated player at Portsmouth right before the end of the season. He gets to take the top spot. We've already known for ages that he's the greatest, but now there is no dispute. And then there's one other question to think of. Did Portsmouth get promoted to the championship? Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me answer with this. 
we finished in top spot. 99 points from 46 games, just one off 100 points. It would have been beautiful, but we dominated. We absolutely took over League One. We had to play in the playoff final to get to League One, but we have just coasted through the third tier. That boy will be in the championship next season, and who knows, if we can go back to back to back with promotion, then in the fourth season with that boy, he'll be in the Premier League. I wonder if we'll be promoted to the Premier League next season. I guess we'll find out, won't we? If you have enjoyed this video, then you can click on this one up here and like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. But until next time, that boy will return. And until that next video, my name is the Master Bucks, and have a good one.